Dr. Sandy Bell, your Sacramento chiropractor. I'm here with Mr. Dave Frecker. He is a uh, Pilates instructor right next door to us, actually, here. Not a Pilates instructor, the <laughs> Pilates instructor. So he teaches stop Pilates, he uh, works with clients, and um, he teaches it. He's one of the main teachers around here for stop Pilates. So does a great job. We actually refer, when our, once our patients get better, we refer a lot of them over to him to do rehab with Pilates to help strengthen their backs and necks, and it, it works really well. So today we've been working with Dave. Um, Dave, give him an idea of your shoulder, kind of where it was. Oh, and, well, when it happened, when the injury happened, you know, I had a hard time doing just about any movement, right? Uh -huh. So, um, it, but you know, recently and we've been working on flexion, shoulder flexion, so I was getting to maybe about there, yeah. and now I'm getting pretty cleanly. I mean, really without me doing any real warm up or anything, I'm just getting up to. Behind just your about ear. to right up to the level of the ear there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So it's really cool. And then, of course, I'd like to get a little more range of motion into lateral rotation there too. And that's been getting better too. Good, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. much better since you started. And yeah. um, he's also been working with a, a good uh, massage therapist we work with, Katie Bona. So between yeah. all of us, we've been helping get his shoulder better. It's, it's really, really been good. So let's um, let's go ahead and lay on your stomach and okay. just take a look and see what's going on here. We'll, we'll check you from head to toe. See if you. Dave likes to keep his body in order since he's a Pilates instructor and yes. he uh, likes to make sure that um, everything's working right. So first thing we'll do is just take a look and see if he's uh, lined up here. A little short on his right leg there. He probably doesn't feel it. He never does. <laughs> um, take this leg here and just reach it to this guy. Alright, good job. And drop that one down and then take this one and reach it to this guy. Good. Does one feel harder than the other? Or do they feel about the same? They felt about the same. About the same? Yeah, okay. yeah. Your right, your right side looked like it was going up just a hair slower, but um, but they're pretty similar. Yeah. And you're feeling okay. You get a little bit of tension up in here. Yep. So what we look for is we're looking for muscles that are asymmetric from side to side. He's got some right here. This is usually about the area on Dave where you'll see some middle back tension, but the middle back is really important for the shoulder because if you can't move from the lower back, you're not gonna get, your shoulder's gonna have a hard time extending all the way up. It prevents your shoulder from extending. And he was saying he feels like he's using too much shoulder blade here. So we're gonna give his pelvis an adjustment first because he's just a little short on the right side. The old drop table here, Dave. Yep, love it. There you go. Hey, a little fixie. See, it's good we get it before it gets bad, right? <laughs> and then you can see his hey, legs are a lot more even there now. Let me give it one more shot in your sacrum here. There you go. All right, now right around here, have you been feeling this at all? A little bit. Yeah. Mostly right side, a little bit of tightness on yeah. the right side, a little bit of uh, stuck feeling in the right side. That's exactly like right. the, maybe the uh, that's thoracic extensors or, or lat, right lat. Yeah, you're, it's, yeah, really right around T67. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that was a good release. I'm just gonna check your uppers here too, okay, Dave? Okay. Good adjustment for the upper sir. thoracics and the ribs there. Yeah. All right, sir, go ahead and lay on your back. Right. Let's take a look at your neck. That moved well. Your uh, your Pilates must be helping. <laughs> Good. So what I use to check necks, and a lot of times low backs and mid backs too, they use what's called motion palpation. And motion palpation is a way to get a good idea of what the the way that the joint's moving and where it's fixated. So he's a little fixated up here at C1. Um, our joints move like this, they move like that, and they move like that. So it's important you get an idea of which way um, the joint's fixated to get the best adjustment on it. And so he's a little fixated in lateral flexion here. Let's see if it wants to release. I'm just gonna let the muscles go. Wiggle your toes a little bit. This is going to be fast. I don't know a lot. That side releases sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Have you been feeling 
commentating here? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. That muscle's just having a hard time. Drop this shoulder here. There we go. It wasn't very loud, but I didn't move. Yep. Feels pretty good now. That was actually pretty stuck, dude. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. So we've also been uh, using um, a combination of mobilization on Dave's shoulder. Now, Dave's favorite, the subscapularis is a muscle that's <laughs> deep in the armpit here. It's right underneath the shoulder blade. And a subscapularis muscle prevents your shoulder from getting up and going back like into a throwing motion. So for Dave, we've really been working on this one. And getting this release has really helped his ex. When he started, I mean, he couldn't go to about here. Right. And now his shoulder, you can see it goes. Yep. He could throw, he could throw a fastball now. <laughs> Fast as I could ever throw. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Is that sore in there? Not like it's been in the past. <laughs> That's about right there where we start. Dave starts making faces. And it yeah, it, it feels okay. It released pretty okay. well right there. Did it? Yeah. 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 Feels good. I like that one. Yeah, it's nice getting. I'm not, <laughs> su I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. <laughs> Scott. It's a Michael Scott. It's an office shirt. Yes. Wear the shirt. I'm guaranteed to get comments. So we're uh, getting into the lab here. And yeah. Good. I think you would describe. Would you describe this as like hurting good? Yes. When we first started working on it, it, it hurt a little more. <laughs> yeah, Dave's shoulder has been a, a long process because um, he's had a history of dislocations in his shoulder, and I hope that's okay that I say that. Yep, to totally everybody. fine, totally fine. Um, but he's had a history of dislocations, um, so that creates instability in there, but then he went from instability, unstable, to very locked up in the shoulder, and so it, it was a challenging problem, but luckily without... Without any surgery, we've been able to really get him back on track. Yeah. And again, you know, we have to give Katie Vona credit because she has really helped too. Yep. She's got through some of this muscle tissue I, I couldn't get through. Yeah, she got in there. <laughs> you made it. All right. Good job. Yeah, it released really good. The, uh, the, uh, yeah. Glenn Hamilton and released really well today. Good, like good. Pretty easily. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All awesome. right, so, all right, Dave. Again, he's uh, DFX Pilates, and we'll put a link for any of you guys that are in uh, Sacramento, East Sacramento area. That um, they, they do a phenomenal job of not only uh, not only doing uh, like fitness Pilates, but also uh, working with people who've had injuries that need to strengthen their core. He's, they're excellent at that.